Tommy chain swap engines out of the truck. Beautiful assistant dash here. So you need to take off your injection pump drive gear off the camshaft. So 18 millimeter, knock this out, get it out of your way. So this is a 94 and up, so it has the reluctor on it, which is what's gonna catch your crank position sensor as it goes around to get your pulse. So this gear, somebody has some candy corn lights or some lights should on that damn thing. have slipped off. Apparently somebody uh, must have found themselves a little. Oh, well, it's got a key to it. It does have a key, but they should not be on so hard that you can't pull them off with your bare hands. So you can use pry bar, come around them real lightly. And usually pop them off. Apparently, well, it won't because it's fine. Well, nothing about this is ever easy. No. Well, <laughs> we've been messing with this motor for 10 years. Yeah, oddly enough, it's the same engine that we put together once, twice, thrice. There we go. All right, here's your drive gear. A little on the dirty side. This has a keyway. Remember, keyway, fellas and fellas. Okay, so in order to do this the right way, you'll want to go ahead and make sure she's got get some flop to her. So what you can do is put the crankshaft bolt back in because you don't want to press on the end of the crank. Helps when I grab the right bolt. I think the dog ate it, guys. No, the crankshaft bolt's over there by Jordan. Oh. Big one. There you go. Okay, so crankshaft bolt is... I don't have a dog. I... Well, that's depressing. Shop cat. Shop cat, you. My, okay. I had a shop chick and it... it he, did, he did have a shop chick and it was... Fucking Arnold got it. I know. Bastard. Okay, so you are going to need a puller to pull this gear slash reluctor off. So we'll get the puller lined up and get this driven in and we'll be back in just a minute. Puller's on. As you can see here, this does not take hardly any energy to start pulling. As you can see, it's already sliding down the shaft. So once we get the crank gear going, <laughs> okay. we'll have to try to start to get the cam gear loosened up, which usually you can do the cam gear without a puller pull evenly around each side. There it goes. So you want me to grab it? Yeah, if you want to hang on to him. I'm going to bring this thing all the way back. So that, let's go. There's a keyway on the crank that holds us all in place. Okay. He dropped so off. If you can pull this back. All right, he's loose. So sometimes what you can do is cheat this a little bit and pull the gear out. Today, that ain't the case. So we'll have to walk this, pull it back the rest of the way until the reluctor is off the keyway. Which is a lot further than anybody would think. This is, it rides Take the, the pulley or the puller off and the yeah. chain will drop. You're caught on it. There we go. Okay. So, reluctor's pulled back. Here's our old chain. You can see she did some pretty good wear in there on these teeth and on the rollers. So, we'll slip him off. Josh, I'm gonna unbox a new one. Oh. That's kind of shiny. Beautiful. All right. He's doing some uh, unboxage here. You want to pronounce that? Yeah. Coits. Okay. It's By a coits. It's a coit timing chain. There's no T. A cloy. Oh, I thought I you said coit. I did say coit because that's. What do you can't help. What? 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 Propane. What? Damn it, Papa. All right. So all you do is slip this guy back on, get your teeth lined up. Now. The other exciting part to this adventure is making sure that you line up this keyway here. Here's your cam key. Here's your cam gear. I don't know if you can see better from the front. 
And go counterclockwise. Yeah, I'm one, I think one, two, five. Alright, so this is the hard part. So, this is lined up, everything's in place. Now what we'll need is a rubber mallet, and we'll tap our cam gear and our crank gear, and that will conclude our chain installation before we put the drive gear back on and retorque the bolt. No rubber mallet in the vicinity of man shed motors. That's okay. My bad. We're doing it the other way. So get a big honking socket, put it over your crank gear, give her a couple good taps, you can walk, see how easy that slides. Your can then can go back over the keyway. All right, go until she's bottomed out. The cam then just needs a light tap. Do the same thing. Okay, now what you should be able to do is hold him up and say, yep, that's pretty close. Whoops. Do we gotta make sure that dot don't you gotta get it down there? So you can put this in. We'll run it down and we'll use our 18 millimeter socket to basically act as a press. So we'll grab that and we'll start to press this guy into position. Thank you. I totally have nothing on the crank, so it might walk. Alright. So as you can see, it, I mean, it presses right on. These are not a tight fit, slip fit. So, all right. Now here's our new timing chain compared to our old timing chain. Is that not wonderful or what? As you can see, it fits the teeth here. It fits our teeth here. It's in good standings. All right. Now before Josh puts the timing cover on this at a later date when he's ready, I am actually put some 1540 on this and pre-oil it before the engine's actually completely assembled and ready to fire. So, we'll go and grab a torque wrench real quick. I'll use my big book everything and get our torque number. We'll torque this and then that'll conclude the timing chain install. Torque. It's best to do it in stages. So, these are 126 foot pounds for the cam drive gear, which means you should probably contemplate I'm going to do it at 50 first. Ta -da! It beeps. This is kind of cool. Just a shame it tops out at 100. I don't know. So we're going to do it to 100, and then I'm going to get a big torque wrench and go the rest of the way. All right, so 50, 100 bob. All right, we're on. Oh, she's almost there. Oh, ta-da! You've got torque. So, cam gear's torqued. This is torqued. This is in. This is on. Man, look at this new timing chain. Oh, it's just snug as a bucket of bread, guys. Oh, I she doesn't it. remind you of your first. <laughs> well, if you'd have seen the timing chain on the dually. That's the damn truth. Yeah. So, timing chain's on. Next you would put the uh, timing cover. It's somewhere in the building. Oh, good. So, Josh can grab the timing cover and just set it in place, and we'll just do a quick explanation of what goes where. I'm gonna hold him up here. This is your crankshaft position. Crankshaft position sensor. If you could say that three times fast, go for it. That catches your reluctor. So he's gonna bring this up. Typically there's a gasket. As you can see, this engine's getting a lot of love. So you line up the dowels, and then it'll slide on with a little bit of extra lovens. So here's your timing cover. This is in place. So you've got three bolts here, 15 millimeter heads. One here, 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 here. Oil pan bolts around the bottom. And that holds the timing cover to the block. After that, you can go ahead and put your, your water pump cover on and put your ones 
all the rest of the way around and close it up. Now, if you're gonna do it, this out of the truck, don't put the water pump on yet. That way you can put the injection pump on freely and you have more room to work. So here's our timing gear install and thanks for watching guys. Thank <laughs> you.